So let's, let's look at an example of these guys. Might be easier to talk about it. So again, here's here's some values. Um, here is our strain. No, I'm sorry, I'm back again. This is our stress, right? Stress is vertical. Strain is side to side. We saw before that the symbol for strain is epsilon. Oh, by the way, the shorthand for stress is a Greek sigma. It's a little um, like an O with a with a little dimple on it, uh, like a Superman curl over here. Uh, that's that's a, a lowercase sigma. Again, it's it's a, it's load per unit area. And down here we have a, a new length over length. And what's happening is um, here is our linear region again, where we go ahead and get this slope of rise over run. We have two points here where this thing has started to change. And then over here we have another, another value number four. So we even have more vocabulary words. Uh, let me get out, get out of here so you can see what these things are. Um, so between points one and two, between points one and two, this of course is the elastic region, and of course we call this the modulus, or the, the Young's modulus in this region. Right around point two, where this thing seems to, starts to, to fall over, um, we have, uh, that we've reached not only the yield point, but we also, uh, they also have a nickname for it and call it the proportional limit. I'm not going to quiz on any, anybody on this, but we're going to see videos where people use lots of different ways to describe the same thing. Um, what they mean proportionally wise as, as, as rise over run, as we rise a certain amount, we run a certain amount, and if the slope happens to be consistent or the slope happens to be a constant, then the rise over the run um, ratio will stay the same, meaning it's proportional. So um, this is another way to say the slope has changed. So between the very beginning, point one, and the end, point two, the slope is not changing. So the data is proportional. This, the, the ratio of the rise over the run has the same proportion until we get up into this region. And then once we get into round three, we've reached the sort of the yield strength where this thing is starting to yield. And then it turns out this it's yielding the whole way across this region up here. The question is, for people who are measuring this, is where do I call the yield strength? Is, is, it, is it right after? This 3 is sort of arbitrarily past the 2. We could have put a 3 right, right in, in the middle there. We could have put a 3 right there. Why pick this 3? It's very difficult. So one of the things that the engineers have done is they sort of standardized this and said, Let's pick a point in the yield region that specifically points to a value along the strain axis. Now, here's the, here's the, the special point. It's not a trick. It's just a special point. Rather than taking a point and drawing it straight down, okay, what they've done is they've taken a point at specifically point two percent why point two percent i guess lots of samples happen to have values and data at point two percent what do they mean by point two percent well if you take the original length and divide i'm sorry the the change in length and divide it by the original length the change is point two percent not two percent but point two percent it's kind of small if we were to walk along this axis, okay, there's there's 0.1%, there's 0.2%, there's 0.3%. If we were to walk along this axis at 0.2% and we were to draw straight up, notice we hit the data where we're still in the elastic region. That wouldn't tell us much about the yield strength at all. So the engineers sort of put their heads together and said, hey, wait a minute. What if we do go to a special position on the Y, on the X axis rather, um, we go right to 0.2%, okay, and we go up, but instead of going up, let's get fancy about it, let's go up, but instead of being vertical 90 degrees, let's follow a parallel line. Let's follow the same slope as our Young's modulus. Let's find the proportionality between the rise and the run and do the exact same thing starting at 0.2%, which is why this is labeled E and this guy over here is labeled E. So what we have here is we have a line along this slope and we have a second line along this slope that started at 0.2% and oh by the way look at that miracle of miracles it happens to cross the data somewhere out in here in this crazy region where there's yield all over the place. 
That's what we're going to call the yield strength at 0.2% offset. It's a giant monster mouthful, but it sort of makes sense. And it turns out um, that our UTMs, the computer actually calculates it for us. It's very easy to do. The computer calculates the Young's modulus, the slope of this line. And now that it has the slope, the computer knows where to start a line at 0.2% on the strain axis and draws a secondary line and then tells us where or shows us where this crosses over. So again, this is just a just to start where we're at here. Um, we'll be using this um, all semester, especially now when we're talking about how materials behave. We'll be talking about the yield strength at 0.2% offset. Again, it's kind of arbitrary. Why 0.2%? 0.2% happens to be a very popular place where lots of materials are still around before they've broken. Um, but it, it, it is most definitely lots of materials ha have already started to yield. They're, they're not down here where they haven't yielded yet. And again, we've all we've done is change the slope uh, to the same slope as the modulus instead of going up vertically. So those are all our vocabulary words. Again, getting me out of here. Um, the elastic region is where we calculate the modulus. The proportional limit is where it, it transitions from being elastic to plastic. Also could be the yield strength or the yield point. We call it the proportional uh, limit. Again, the yield strength is anywhere along here. Three just happens to be an example. It's much more common to say yield strength at a particular strain. And the strain we're using is the strain at 0.2%. Okay? It's a lot of information to throw at you, but we'll, it all makes sense pretty quickly.